Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. In this video, we are going to learn about Azure Key Vault. We are also going to practically create the Key Vault and we are going to see how do we use Azure Key Vault to store the secret. And we will also use it to create the linked service pointing to our data store. Okay, so let's jump into the discussion to understand what is Azure Key Vault and what are its usage. So Azure Key Vault is the key management solution in Azure for securely storing and accessing the secrets. So Azure Key Vault is basically a resource that is used as a storage for all kinds of secrets. And when we say secrets, it doesn't mean only password. It can be a token, it can be passwords, it can be certificates, it can be any API keys. So it basically gives an extra layer of security to our code. And it helps us in tackling the problems related to secret management, key management and certificate management. So as we discussed, secret can be tokens, password, certificates, or any API keys or any other kind of secrets. So instead of storing our passwords or tokens in our ADF pipeline or in our code, we can store it in the key vault and we can call this key vault whenever needed. Okay. Similarly, it helps us to create the encryption keys to encrypt our data. And if you're using TLS or SSL certificates, it also helps to manage and deploy the same. So this video is mainly focused on storing passwords in our Azure Key Vault and how to use that Key Vault to create our link service, okay? So let's directly go to Azure portal and let's see what our requirement is. So basically I have few link services here out of which there's one link service that is pointing to my on-premise SQL Server. So if I open this, you can see my server name, database name and SQL authentication where I have given my user ID and password. But I want to remove this dependency of storing my password directly into the link service. So this password is valid. Let me test connection for you. And let's see if it succeeds. Yeah, so you can see this link service connection is successful. But to make it more secure, I want to use this key vault option. So let me go ahead and click on this Azure key vault. So here it is asking me for all the key vault related information. But currently I don't have any key vault. So here I need to create a new link service for that key vault. Okay. So if I click on that, it is creating a new link service for this Azure key vault. Okay. So here, let me select my subscription and here we need to select the key vault name as I do not have any key vault currently. I have to click on this new so that it will try to create a new key vault for me. So it is opening the Azure portal. Let, let it open. So here you can see it is directly navigating me to create a key vault option. So you can either go this way or you can directly go to the Azure portal and you can search for key vault option and you can create a new key vault. It will also land you to the same page. Okay. So here we need to provide all the details in order to create the new key vault. So first of all, let me select the existing resource group that is Anu RG. And here we need to provide the new key vault name. Let me give the name as Anu KV. So it's already in use. Let me give a unique name. Let me give a new KV123. Yeah, so it is a unique name now. And region by default is selected as East US. I'm good with it. Pricing tire, let me select as standard itself. Okay. And I'm going to leave all the other options as it is. Let me hit on next. Let me hit on next again. And let me go to review plus create option. And now the create option is enabled. Let me hit on create. So it has initiated the deployment. Let's wait for this key vault to be created. So the deployment is completed. Let's go to the resource. So the first thing that we see here is the overview page. So if you have to store the access keys, you can go to the keys option and you can create the new key. Or if you have to store any password, you can go to the secrets and you can create a new secret. In case you have any certificates to store, you can create the new certificate here. So in my case, I have to create new secrets. So here I will uh, select this generate or import option and it will create a new secret for me. So the upload option by default is manual. I will keep it as it is. Let me create the secret name. Let me give the secret name as Anu secret one. And here we need to provide the secret value. So this is where I need to store the SQL password that I need to replace in the linked service. 
So I'm entering my password here for my SQL authentication. And I'm just going to hit on this create option. So you can see it has successfully created this secret for me. If I open this, you can see the current version, which is the latest version of this secret. Here we have the option to set expiration date. And if this secret gets expired, we can create a new version for this secret. Okay. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Let me go back. So we are going to use this secret name of this key vault in order to replace the password with the key vault option. Okay. So now since our key vault is ready, we can select the key vault name in this drop down. Uh, let me just refresh this. Yeah. Let me select the subscription again and let me select the key vault name from this drop down. So you can see it is the same name that we have given to the key vault. Okay. And if you see this authentication method, it is system assigned managed identity or the other option that we have is user assigned managed identity. So by default, it is having system assigned and I'm keeping it as it is. And if you carefully observe this managed identity name is nothing but the Synapse workspace name. Okay. So let me copy this name. The reason I'm doing this is our managed identity should have certain permission in order to access this secret. Okay. So I have just copied this managed identity name. Okay. And let me test this connection. This should be working fine. Let me create this link service. So now our key vault link service is in place and we have seen that it is successfully getting connected. Now we need to provide this secret name. Okay. So let me edit it and let me provide the secret name. Secret name is Anu secret one. Let me type it here. Anu secret one and the secret version selected by default is the latest version so we are fine with that because we have seen that there is only one version of this secret okay so now if i hit on this test connection let's see if it is getting successful or not so you can see the connection has failed let me check on this error so it says the user group or application does not have secret get permission on the key vault with this key vault name. Okay. So basically, as I told you, we have to get this get permission on the key vault for our managed identity. So I have already uh, copied my managed identity name. So in order to grant the get permission, we need to go to this access policies. And here we need to create a new policy for secret permission. Okay. So if in case you are trying to store any access key in your key vault, then you need to provide these permissions in this key permission to your managed identity. Or else if you are trying to store any certificate, then you need to select the permissions from these options. But in our case, since we are using it to store the secret, so we need to provide the get secret permission to our managed identity. So let me select that get option and let me go ahead. And here we need to uh, paste that managed identity name and let me select this managed identity. Let me hit on next. And we are uh, creating this policy for accessing our secret. Okay. So now this managed identity is having get permission as required. So now let me go ahead again and let me hit on this test connection option. So now you can see the connection is successful. And we have successfully replaced the password that was stored directly in the link service with this key vault option. So let me hit on this save option. So I have done this for one link service that is pointing to my on-premise SQL server. Similarly, you can store your account key instead of uh, holding it directly into the link service for ADLS or any other blob storage link service. You can change it to Azure key vault option. And you can remove the dependency of directly storing the account key into the link service. So let's go back into the presentation. So with the help of Key Vault, we are directly reducing the chances that the secret may accidentally get leaked. So while development, there is no longer need to store the security information in your application code. You can store it in the Key Vault that will eliminate the need of storing your passwords into the code directly. And with the help of Key Vault, you do not need to write any custom code in order to encrypt your data or protect your secret information. Okay. 
सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू लाइक द कंटेंट प्लीज हिट ऑन लाइक बटन एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट दिस टॉपिक वॉज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स वेन यू आर डीलिंग विद प्रोडक्शन डेटा और इफ यू आर माइग्रेटिंग योर डेटा यूजिंग डिप्लॉयमेंट सी आई सी डी पाइपलाइन सो यू कैन यूज दिस की वर्ल्ड ऑप्शन सो दैट इन योर आर्म टेम्पलेट देर वोट बी एनी पासवर्ड स्टोर्ड एंड इट वोट बी एक्सेसिबल टू एनी वन सो थैंक यू प्लीज स्टेट यूड